Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be explaining you the regulation of cholesterol biosynthesis. I will be mainly concentrating on the regulation of cholesterol biosynthesis at one particular enzyme. So let me take you into uh, initial reactions in cholesterol biosynthesis and I will take you into the regulatory part and then I will discuss about regulation. Now the cholesterol synthesis is going on in the cytoplasm. Two molecules of acetyl-CoA, they will condense with one another to make acetoacetyl-CoA by an enzyme called thiolase. Now acetoacetyl-CoA will condense with one more acetyl-CoA molecule to make HMG-CoA. This job is done by an enzyme called HMG-CoA synthase enzyme. Now, HMG-CoA structure I have written here. So, 3-hydroxy, 3-methyl, glutaryl CoA is simply written as HMG-CoA. Now, this HMG-CoA, it is converted into mavalonate because the CoA part is taken out here. So, this C double bond O and SCOA, that CoA part is taken as CoA ash and the carbon is now having hydroxyl group CH2OH and that formation that that particular molecule is called as mavalonate. This reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase. Now during this reaction two molecules of NADPH plus 2H plus consumed and two molecules of NAD plus released. So basically 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutaryl-CoA it is reduced into mavalonate upon consumption of NADPH molecules. Now the job is done by HMG-CoA reductase. Now this HMG-CoA reductase enzyme is considered as a rate limiting enzyme and also most regulated enzyme. Now the regulation on HMG-CoA reductase, it can be by allosteric modulators or it can be by hormonal regulation and also it can be by protein degradation. Now let's talk about allosteric modulation on HMG-CoA reductase. Whenever there is more cholesterol present in the hepatocytes, when the plenty of cholesterol is available during that time, cholesterol will have a feedback negative effect on HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. So that is what I have written here. See the cholesterol, excess cholesterol will have a negative effect on HMG-CoA reductase. One of the cholesterol derivative in hepatocytes that is in the liver is bile acids. Whenever there is excess bile acids, bile acids also will have a negative effect on HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. And also the immediate end product mavalonate. Whenever there is accumulation of mavalonate in the liver, in the hepatocytes, that mavalonate itself will have a negative effect on HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. And also the drugs, that is statins, statin group of drugs like mevastatin, lovastatin, atarvastatin. There are different kinds of statin drugs. So they will have a competitive negative reversible effect on HMG-CoA reductase because statins they will compete with the natural substrate that is HMG-CoA 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutaryl-CoA for enzyme binding site that's a competitive mechanism so that means if statins will bind to the active site of HMG-CoA reductase there won't be any formation of mavalonate that means further down cholesterol biosynthesis decreases. Now let's move on to see what, is, what all the other regulatory effects on HMG-CoA reductase. Now the HMG-CoA reductase synthesis can be controlled at the gene level by cholesterol itself. Whenever the cell has got more cholesterol, so cholesterol will go and bind to a protein which is there on the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum as I have shown here in this particular figure, so there is a protein on the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum called S-CAP. This S-CAP is S-R-E-B-P 
cleavage activating protein now this srebp cleavage activating protein as cap it is going it is usually associated with srebp that is sterol response element binding protein now the s cap and srebp they are associated with one another and srebp in turn it has got a dna binding domain which will eventually will go and bind to sre present on the dna sre is sterol response element these are the gene sequence present in the dna now what will happen to this s cap and srebp whenever there is more cholesterol in the hepatocytes cholesterol will go and bind to cholesterol sensing domain of s cap so whenever s cap is associated with cholesterol so it is not going to allow movement of srebp s cap into the golgi so because for srebp dna binding domain to move into the nucleus and then going and bind, binding to the sre on the dna it has to move on from sc uh, endoplasmic reticulum into golgi and then into the nucleus now whenever there is more cholesterol so cholesterol is going to make sure that these two proteins they are present in the endoplasmic reticulum itself it is not going to allow it to move on now when there is low cholesterol so that means gene transcription do not go on that means uh, synthesis of hmg coa reductase enzyme decreases because dna binding domain is not moving from endoplasmic reticulum into the golgi from golgi to the nucleus it means it is not binding to sre over the dna that means transcription of hmg coa reductase gene do not go on so that means enzyme concentration decreases that means cholesterol synthesis is going down now whenever the cell has less cholesterol during that time what happens so this whenever cell has less cholesterol it, cholesterol is not binding to s cap when the cholesterol is not binding to s cap that means s cap association with srebp they will move into the golgi complex in the golgi complex we have two proteins s1p and s2p now s1p and s2p these are site 1 and site 2 proteases what they will do they are going to clip dna binding domain present in the srebp and release the dna binding domain and that dna binding domain it will be moving on to the nucleus and in the nucleus it is going to interact with the sre on the dna that is sterol response element on the dna and when the interaction of dna binding domain with the sre occurs that will recruit other transcription factors and thereby transcription of hmg coa reductase gene will go on that means more and more hmg coa reductase enzyme is synthesized that means more and more cholesterol is synthesized this is how uh, the levels of cholesterol in the hepatocytes will regulate synthesis of hmg coa reductase enzymes now let's move on to see other kinds of regulation that will be going on over hmg coa reductase enzyme whenever there is more cholesterol present in the hepatocyte now that cholesterol it is going to go and interact with the cytoplasmic domain of hmg coa reductase enzyme which is attached to the endoplasmic reticulum so hmg coa reductase enzyme as such it is embedded in the endoplasmic reticular membrane so uh, it has got a cytoplasmic domain and that cytoplasmic domain which has got an active site and also it has got a cholesterol sensing domain within it and whenever there is more cholesterol so cholesterol will go and interact with the cholesterol sensing domain and thereby it will make this enzyme more susceptible for proteolysis or protein degradation that means more cholesterol in the hepatocyte will make sure that hmg coa reductase which is already available it will undergo protein degradation thereby concentration or the quantity of hmg coa reductase decreases that's how that is one way to regulate cholesterol biosynthesis now hormonal regulation now whenever there is insulin present when the person is in well fed condition con uh, taking carbohydrate diet and resting so what happens insulin is going to activate protein phosphatase enzyme as it is shown in the figure 
So protein phosphatase, what it does, it is going to take phosphate out of HMG coireductase enzyme's surface. Now HMG coireductase enzyme, it will be there in dephosphorylated state. Now the dephosphorylated state of HMG CoA reductase is an active form of an enzyme. That means it is going to convert more and more HMG CoA into mavalonate. That thereby mavalonate will go into cholesterol biosynthesis. Now, when the person is in fasting condition, glucagon is elevated, and also when there is elevation of other sterol molecules, and also when the person is exercising, so there will be elevation of AMP. Now the AMP, glucagon, sterols, all these molecules, what they will do, they are going to activate protein kinase enzymes. Like glucagon is going to activate protein kinase A enzyme, whereas AMP is going to activate AMP activated protein kinase. So what these protein kinases do? They are going to go and add phosphate to HMG coir reductase enzyme. So whenever the HMG coireductase enzyme is phosphorylated, it becomes inactive. So that means enzyme activity decreases. That means conversion of HMG coe into mavalonate decreases. So these are some of the regulatory points on HMG coireductase enzymes. So the regulation can be allosteric regulation. It can be gene regulation. It can be protein degradation. It can be hormonal regulation. So this is all about regulation of cholesterol biosynthesis. I hope this video has helped you in understanding cholesterol biosynthesis regulation. Thanks for watching for regular updates. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and see you in my next video.